Hi, this is Chris of Escape the Crate, and we're going to do an unboxing today of one of our old boxes, Escape Alcatraz. Now, we ship out boxes every other month, and these are escape room themed. So you have to party with your friends and your family, get them all together, gather around the kitchen table or the living room table, and you work together on some puzzles to see if you can escape the room in a set time limit. We recommend having between two to six players playing the game, but you can play it alone. Uh, you can go more than six people. However, if you have more than six people playing the game, it might get difficult for everybody to see all the puzzles. So we like to limit it at about six people when playing. Now, each of our boxes ships out every other month, and it's important to stress every other month. We have the extra month in there so that you only get six boxes a year. You're not overwhelmed with tons of boxes stacking up in the corner because we know you have busy lives. You can't always set up a family game night, or a group of friends to get together every single month for a game. But every other month allows you times to get things scheduled out and sometimes even plan a whole party around the box, getting food and music to suit your needs to match up with the theme of the box. It also gives us an extra month to design the boxes to make sure we have all the testing required and so we can have the best possible boxes imaginable. Like I said, I'm going to show you Escape Alcatraz today. That's the box right there in the center. Escape Alcatraz is one of our most popular boxes and it's actually two games in one. Normally our games last between an hour if you've done tons of escape rooms to so two hours or you can just play it without a time limit. But this game itself is actually two games in one. It's two half hour games. So you can play it if you know on a weeknight or when you have a little bit less of time to play the game. One game involves escaping out of your jail cell. The other game involves breaking out of the island of Alcatraz itself. Now, the box itself has tons of secrets hidden all over it. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab it right now. If you look, everything around the outside or the inside of the box could be a clue. We like to hide things anywhere. And when I open up the box, you're going to notice that right away. Inside the box, we have some prison cells. But those prison cells are not just there for decoration. They are actually a part of the game. Things might be hidden in them. You might need to remember the order of them. Up across the top, you see some numbers chalked in of how many days a prisoner has been locked up in jail. Those, of course, are a part of a puzzle. We have some tic-tac-toe boards down below. Everything could be used as a puzzle or in the game, and everything has a use. We don't just throw an object in the box just to have it for decoration or to keep. Everything is used during the game. So the first thing you'll find instead of every box is our welcome letter with the instructions of how to play the game. You will need to log on to a website, and when you log on to that website, the website will give you hints, give you multimedia, give you the storyline, give you things to help you out along as you play the game. You also input any codes you find in the website. Some of the other papers you have are bits and pieces of the story and the puzzles. Like for this one, this one right here is a cell block, and this is from Alcatraz. Those other prisoners might help you out along the way in the game. So the order and the position of the cells might be important for a puzzle. Other objects inside the box. Well, for this one, we have a toothbrush in there. Now, you might wonder, what's the purpose of a toothbrush? Well, of course... Prisoners need a toothbrush. It's one of the most common items inside of a prison game. But this might have some sort of a purpose in the game other than just being there as a prop. Along the same way, a rubber glove. You will use the rubber glove several times throughout the game. You actually write all over it for different puzzles. And you'll, of course, put it in your hands to create different codes. Pretty clever puzzle there. We have a spoon. What could a spoon be used for? I don't know. Maybe digging out of a jail cell? We have to find out. And, of course, my favorite prop, some handcuffs. You will be handcuffing yourself to another player in the game. There are keys in there to help out. And the handcuffs also are used for a different puzzle. So those are just a few of the props inside of the game. Other props are hidden in our envelopes in the game. Each game is an envelope. And inside are more puzzles, pieces of paper, things to help you out. But you can't get into those puzzles until you end up solving other adventures. So you solve adventures, solve your way through the mystery, and eventually you'll be able to open up the cell block and get to what's inside, releasing more puzzles for you to do. We average between 12 to 13 puzzles per game, and all the puzzles are different for every box. So it allows you to subscribe and get a different experience every single time. Another one of our envelopes right here, the cell block, or your cell. So we have the cell block and your cell. You can go ahead and use these to solve the mysteries within. Now, we also have other papers in here for you. These are things help tell the story, help you out with the puzzles. We might have different things uh, with schedules and maps, all sorts of fun goodies for you to use. And of course, one of my favorite things about it, we might provide you with a simple pen. But 
everything has its purpose again. You never know what might be hidden with this pen. You never know what might be hidden inside of this box. So each of our boxes is different every other month. We have adventures from escaping from Alcatraz to solving a murder during Mardi Gras, escaping a serial killer back in the 1893 World's Fair, stopping a movie production from going on, going to an old Egyptian pyramid or finding the city of gold, stopping a spy back in the 1950s, or even battling the supernatural with Escape the Mothman. So subscribe to Escape the Crate. If you look on our site below, we have our regular box and a subscription, or you can purchase retired boxes, which are previous boxes. They're a little bit more, but with that one, you can get a box. It's not a part of the subscription, and you can just go ahead and play it for a one-time family game night. Go ahead and give us a try. You'll love it. We have tens of thousands of people who have played our games before, tons of five-star reviews, and lots of happy returning customers. So please, give Escape the Create a shot. Thanks so much.